Okay, in this problem, the velocity head in a given 24 inch box sewer is 0 0.75 feet. Determine the flow rate through the sewer in MGD. Assume the sewer is flowing full. So this problem, the very first thing they give us is velocity head. Now, that's important because we need to know that if we want to find the flow, we're going to probably need to solve for velocity. So velocity head equals 0 0.75 feet. Now the equation for velocity head can be found by either searching for the energy equation or head within chapter six of the reference manual. So going there, we can see that this equals V squared over two G, where V is your velocity and G is the acceleration due to gravity. Two, since we mentioned that we're gonna be looking for flow, we're probably going to need Q equals VA. And finally, three, we need it in MGD, so there's a chance we'll have to convert from CFS to MGD. So let's get started. Calculating out for velocity here, we can say 0 0.75 feet equals V squared over two times 32.2 .2 feet per second squared. And solving for V will give us 6.95 feet per second. This is a good unit conversion check because we can see that multiplying this over to here will give us feet squared over second squared. The square root of that is feet per second. The next step is going to be multiplying V times A. So 6.95 feet per second times a box sewer is 24 inches. So it's gonna be a two foot height and a two foot width. So two feet times two feet and this is going to give us Q which will be 27.8 cubic feet per second. So as we expected, if we wanna to get to MGD, we need to do a unit conversion. So let's do it. 27.8 feet cubed per second times, oops, times 60, seconds in one minute times 60 minutes in one hour times 24 hours in one day times 7.48 gallons per cubic foot times one million gallons over 10 to the sixth gallons is the way I think this makes sense to write it out. So that way all of our units will cancel. Cancel seconds, cancel minutes, cancel hours, cancel gallons, cancel cubic feet that will leave us with million gallons per day. And plugging this whole string into our calculator will give us 17.97 MGD. Closest answer over here is 18. And that's all it takes to solve this problem. It's worth noting that if you don't remember the conversion for this, you can find it on page three of the reference manual 
under conversion factors. But yeah, the only thing you have to remember in this problem is that they're giving you velocity head and you need actually to solve for velocity instead. The rest of the problem is just about unit conversions and solving some basic math. And that's it.